Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over and update primarily Ethereum. Just looking at Bitcoin right here. Just uh, wait for it to suss itself out, guys. That's what I would do. Um, I'm not worried about all the panic in the streets on crypto Twitter that's out there. And everybody's talking about it. I mean, it's just, it's actually kind of crazy. You know, it goes up. People's emotions are for the positive. It goes down. People's emotions. Look, at the end of the day, guys, you want to see these corrections to get more information. You want to see a decent correction to see what is really going on with the asset. Um, if this correction ended here with Bitcoin, you can see what's that typical move. What kind of moves these cryptocurrency uh, like to do? Down, up, dump. Just like that, okay? In in the end of a uh, a wave, if it completed there, but I'm let it suss itself out and see where uh, Bitcoin is going to end up. I still think there's possibility more downside. So let's go over Ethereum, guys. Let's suss this out, okay? For one, I don't know why people are panicking over this. You know, Ethereum has gone up from what eight hundred uh, less than eight hundred dollars, and it made its way all the way up to two thousand dollars. And I'm sitting here going like, well, what's the problem here? Um, that's how I'm looking at it. So right now. Just getting a retrace on this, you know, with Ethereum, that whole leg, it's not even 38% uh, of the whole leg. It looks good to me. I don't know, you know, so far so good. So let's take a look at this uh, correction because technically, let me put that retrace back on there. Technically, guys, for a uh, bullish correction, you want this to be a lot deeper. So at least 50%, 1,300 and back down, 1,200 in those areas. Take it off log. You know, really, these areas at least uh, fourteen fifty one, thirteen ninety eight, and these are these are the areas. This is this needs to be. If you want this up to come and correct down you, to down here to go back up, you want it down farther. You don't want it to hang out up here and then start doing stuff like that. Okay, and just letting you know that's what you want to look for on uh, Ethereum. So let's break down this correction and see what's going on, and probably could suss it out. So the this correction. Ethereum's making nice uh, traditional moves of uh, Elliott Wave moves, okay? Three, uh, you know, the threes and fives and um, not WXY waves are thrown in there. At least it doesn't appear so right now. So that's good. I'm on the eight hour chart, which is uh, far enough up. So you have the eight, 12, 18, one day. You know, you want to find, start looking for it and look for your divergence. So what I'm going to do. This is probably a three-way move or a five-way move right here because this went down so far. So what I'm going to do is show you right here in the RSI, where it's its lowest peak, right there. So more than likely, that's a third wave. It came back over, made a divergence onto that fifth wave right there, okay? So more than likely with Ethereum, it's looking like you have a possibility of a move just like this, something like one, two, three, four, five, okay? I'm going to clean that up. So five wave move, and now it had another move up, okay? It hit my target box. It just barely hit it. You can see that if I open that up for you, you see it came right into my target box, so I was expecting. Now it has this move, and more than likely, that's a flat. I could tell by looking at it, but you could throw some fibs on there, and you can see, get that whole retrace, and you can see, look at that, 1.618 logarithmic right on the nose it looks like more or less you see take it off log you see take it off log it hit it right on the nose what does that mean abc that's an abc move it's a flat right here a b c so came down in five corrected at three now it's going to do another five and if you take this uh, i'm going to clean that up if you take this leg Okay, you can figure out if this is a bullish correction or a bearish correction. You see that? 0.382, take it off log, 0.382 on the nose. More than likely, guys, uh, for this to be bearish, you want to see a second wave come a lot deeper and then it'll correct down. Could it be a second wave and it's going one, two, three, four, five? It could be. But more than likely, since it hit 38%, this is a B wave, okay, in my opinion you have a higher probability of this being what? For Ethereum, you have a higher probability of this being A, B, C. What does that mean? That means Ethereum is making a correction down to be able to go back up. So overall picture, you have impulse up, correction down to go back up. 
Okay, that's what it is. So if if you think if you think it's uh, bearish, and this is a second wave because that's what it's going to have to be. This is your only other option for this to be bearish. Is this is a second wave, and then you'll be looking for these targets on uh, Ethereum. Just to give you an idea. Here's wave one. There's two. You'd be looking for targets at 1100. Um, yeah, down here at 1100 on this wave. You you want to see a, a a nice five wave move all the way down here to 1100. Okay. Um, the probability of that happening uh, right now, I don't uh, I don't see that happening. Um, not right now. It's giving me bullish uh, signals for a correction. Let's go take a look at the uh, the daily chart on this uh, wave that it did on the RSI for Ethereum just to see. Okay, here's its uh, peak right there. It came down and where did it correct to? Almost down to this area in the RSI on the daily. Let's take a look at it on the 12 hour. Third wave peak up there and it corrected all the way down. What did it take out? It took out almost everything on the 12 hour guys. So bullish signals, I do expect. Uh, so let's get an overall picture. If that's an ABC, where's a reasonable target for Ethereum guys? A reasonable target right now if you're looking for bullishness on Ethereum, I'm going to keep the I'll keep the wicks in just to be on the safe side. So that's the B is right in this area, guys, right in this area right here. Just like so. OK, this is a previous fourth wave. That's definitely going to be a target. OK, wick down to there, 1387. So uh, 1459 and as low as 1302 for Ethereum. So more than likely, these would be areas. This area right here, this area, more than likely, just like right in that area is what I'd be looking for. Well, you want to be looking for a bullish signal on Ethereum, okay? And you would come down right down here in the RSI. If this gets, if it does make that move and this RSI is down here, I'll show you other, other areas you want to look for. And you see, let's say it's going to make a move, comes back up and the RSI is like way back down there on the 12 hour again. And you see it over here and you come back over and you're like, oh, wow, man, it took everything out. Then you just close that up. You see the price target over here, right? The RSI way down there like that. Then you can say, okay, it's probably getting ready to, bam, go back up. Looking from a, from a bullish perspective. Now, obviously, you want to keep the bearish in the back of your mind. Could it be doing one, two, three, four, five? It could be. But you'll see, you'll see this. Uh, you'll get an indication of this is... Uh, a C wave or a, 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 a third wave. For one, um, you start seeing massive uh, volume spikes up down in here on that C wave down here like that. If you see a little bit lower volume down here, um, this is probably not a good one to use the Bitfinex. I would use a different chart. You see lower volumes and it's heading down there in a five wave. That'll be another clue that you can use to say, okay, is it gonna be a third wave or a C wave? Otherwise guys, I really don't see what the panic is with Ethereum. It has to correct this leg. Ethereum needs to correct this leg, come back down here to be able to go back up again, okay? Now, if it goes deep, I'll let you guys know, it can go deep. Let's say that that was a wave one. Don't know yet if that was the end of it, could have been. It can correct deep all the way back down to 786. And that will suck in all the bears in um, um, on crypto Twitter. And they'll be so sure that this is going down to 400. You know, I'll, I'll be waiting for that. If you see it down here, if that is possible. It can do a 786 correction. Ethereum's notorious for doing deep corrections, guys. But based off this wave right here, it doesn't look like it's going to go that deep. We will see. We will see. All right, guys, that's the end of my video update on Ethereum. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.